Hello, my name is Caleb Smith with the Rocket Miner newspaper, here to provide an update for December 30th, 2020. Almost done with this year. Hope you've been having a good New Year's Eve. Eve. Um, today, the Wyoming News Exchange um, noted that, according to the Wyoming Department of Health numbers, the number of active cases in the state is now back up over 1,500. Uh, we'd had about a three-day stretch of declining numbers, but it did um, kind of um, lilt back up again. Um, the precise number would be 1,531 active cases, and that includes 104 active cases in Sweetwater County. So while we're thankful that vaccination efforts are going on, and um, whether it's anecdotally or honestly, I'm seeing more people uh, practicing these health guidelines, particularly the face masks. Um, this is something to keep up our defenses um, as we go forward. Um, one other story I want to highlight is one that just, um, I apologize we didn't get to as quickly. Um, sometimes we get press releases and sometimes in the hustle and bustle we uh, miss an email for a little bit. But the Sublette County Sheriff's Office has some, um, has been um, rightfully um, touting the fact that they had a successful rescue this past weekend of a uh, gentleman and his two dogs from a truck that had gotten partially submerged in the Green River um, over near the Reardon Draw, just south of Big Piney. Um, they'd already put out a press release and some pictures, but um, if you'd want to be able to go to the Sublet County YouTube channel, um, just a quick Google search, you'll actually see some body cam footage of the efforts that they went to to um, have this successful rescue. Um, they edited it down for those who, uh, like me, have a kind of a shorter attention span. But it's interesting to see what the officers saw when they were side on scene, uh, the efforts they did to keep in communication with the with the driver, uh, kind of help keep his attention. And I mean, if you've been in the cold water and you, uh, you're, yeah, the, the even just the the sound of the water um, was at some points making it difficult for them to um, communicate. Just how it's constantly rushing. To mention that your senses and whatnot are going to be a bit dulled and anesthetized by the situation, but they work to keep in connection. We're able to actually get out a ladder to help him um, get there. Um, and of course, it wasn't just the sheriff's deputies, though they did play an important part. They also had um, Sublet County United Fire, Emergency Medical Services, in addition to the um, Tip Top Search and Rescue Team. Um, they were the ones who rescued the two dogs. Uh, body cam footage didn't have that, which makes me a little bit disappointed, but it's still a testament to um, their training, their teamwork, their dedication that they were able to put it all together. Uh, they even got the truck out after a couple different tries to kind of get the um, frame carriage from beneath it. And like I said, that's a submerged truck. That's not that's not the easiest that's attempt. Just the fact that it's um, uh, they were able to make sure that everybody got back on land. Um, and the man who was not identified uh, was um, evacuated to the Pinedale Medical Clinic. But still, good jobs to them and those who um, continue to be willing to put themselves on the line to um, rescue people who need help. Anyway, this is Caleb Smith with the Rocket Miner newspaper, wishing you a good day and a safe tomorrow. Bye.